There is one mistake that I see websites making time and time again. I see it all over the show and, uh, and I want to tell you what it is and show you how to fix it because it's an easy fix, thankfully, once you know what it is. But so many people are making the same mistake, so I'm glad that we are doing a full video dedicated just to that. You know, last week I did a free live training, Thursday live, 10 o'clock, uh, just like this one. And in that live training, I went through the three common mistakes that I see people making, online sellers. And one of those mistakes was about uh, not focusing on conversion rate optimization. So conversion rate optimization is about improving your site and fine tuning how people view your site, what they see on your site and how they move through the checkout. So that what you want to do is that you want to increase the number of, of sales that you get from the traffic that you're getting. So you want to optimize the conversion rate. You know, if you've got 100 people coming to your site, how many of them are buying? And, uh, and if you can focus on improving that, then you're going to get more sales from the same amount of traffic, which is an amazing thing because you're not focusing on increasing your SEO or putting money into paid advertising or doing anything like that. You're just taking the current traffic, people who are already visiting your site and getting more money off them, getting more sales from those same people, right? So it's a pretty cool thing to focus on. And of course, the main tip for today and the thing that I see happening on so many different websites the biggest mistake that people are making, well, it's of course focused on conversion rate optimization and just one aspect of that. So the mistake that I'm seeing time and time again is the fact that people don't um, readily display their shipping times, okay? So the reason that this is so important and really like the key thing that might just be affecting the sales on your site and affecting, affecting it in a negative way is because when a browser comes to your site, when somebody lands on your site, they're looking to buy something. Well, hopefully they are. And when they find that, that product that they're looking to buy, that's cool because now you've done the job. You've got them to the site. They've looked, they found the thing that they want to buy. And what's the next question that they're going to ask themselves? The question is, how much, I gonna, how much am I going to pay for delivery? And the mistake that I see so many, uh, so many website owners making is that they don't um, proactively address that question. You know, so many websites I see, you've got to add something to the cart and you don't know how much you're going to pay for shipping. Then you've got to go through the shopping cart, you've got to go through checkout, you need to type in your address. And then like at the last step, it tells you, ah, you're going to pay a hundred bucks for delivery. What? I'm out of here. Now, customers don't want to have to do that. And they've done it on so many different websites that if they come to your site and they don't have that information before they start the checkout process, they are going to leave and you just lost that sale. So how do you fix this? I promised it was an easy fix and it really is. Now, I strongly suggest that you use the announcement bar along the top of your website as a way to explain what your shipping terms are um, or how much they're going to pay. Because hopefully, or if you do offer free shipping, then the amount is like free shipping over 500 bucks or over 700 rand or whatever your site is. Put that in the announcement bar and make that a clickable link through to your shipping terms and uh, your shipping terms, right? Because people want to know how long is it going to take? What am I going to pay for this? If it's free, that's awesome, but they're still going to say, well, how long is it going to take? Is it free shipping via the post office, in which case I'm never going to get it? Or um, is it free shipping by next day delivery, uh, courier door to door? That's amazing, right? So you need to be proactively addressing this. And the absolute best way to do this is to use the announcement bar along the top of your site. That's, that's that little strip that just uh, like that little thin line where you can say free shipping over 500 bucks. Now, when somebody goes to the product that they like, they want to buy it, they know because it's popping out at them that it's free shipping over 500 bucks or maybe you can, you can make that link clickable and say, well, uh, orders under 500 bucks is going to have a delivery fee of 79 Rand or whatever it is. But you want to make that information as readily available as possible, right? Because converting more customers is going to mean that you're going to get more sales from the same amount of traffic. And this is a, the mistake that I see so many people making and there are lots of them. Unfortunately, there are so many nuances and so many small things that I see people not doing correctly. And last week in, in that other training that I did, I mentioned that conversion rate optimization, I geek out on it and it's actually my favorite topic because it's what I used uh, so often with my previous websites that um, you know every time I was maxing out my, my marketing or the return on investment from just the business in general was starting to decline, we would just turn our attention to conversion rate optimization because it's kind of like an investment of your time into future, uh, future sales because any improvement that you make today, like you guys can go and add that shipping bar to the top of your site and that's going to bring you in future sales, not just tomorrow, not just next week, but for like as long as your site is live. And then there's other things that you can do and there's a lot of different things that you can do to optimize your conversion rate so that 
you invest your time in doing those little fine tuning quick fixes and then like you just get more sales long into the future it's like an investment of your time into future uh, future sales and i love it and there's so much that i want to te- uh, talk and teach about this stuff that's that's why i've actually put together an entire webinar just focused on conversion rate optimization it doesn't sound that sexy but it's one of the most important parts of e-commerce it's one of the the most ignored parts of selling online and it's just so crucial because you could spend all of your time just focusing on your seo and that's a long-term play or you could focus all of your budget and your money by just throwing more money at facebook ads and google ads and all this fancy marketing stuff and you can do all of that with the intention of getting more traffic to your site but what if you take the current traffic the people that are already visiting your site and you optimize your site so that you can get more sales from that well that to me sounds like a better better option right Uh, And if you agree with me and if you want to learn more about conversion rate optimization, then there is a link through to the webinar that I've created entirely on this subject. I've never taught this this webinar before for free. But if you go in the link above this video, you'll see that uh, you can get a free ticket for the webinar that's happening next week. And you can join me and I'm going to go through as many, like all of my tips. Like this, this tip today was just one of the tricks, one of the common mistakes. But there are so many mistakes that I just see. Like when I look at a website... I'm just like, oh my gosh, like why? Like I need to teach this stuff. So, so that's what I'm going to be doing next week. And it's, it's entirely for free and, uh, and you can get your ticket. Just click the link uh, above and, uh, and, and try and get your ticket sooner rather than later because the webinar software that we use, it has a capacity. So uh, not everybody, hopefully everybody, hopefully everybody can get in. Um, but if there's too much, then there won't be enough, uh, enough space, uh, unfortunately. But uh, you guys are watching this video now, so click the link right now. Go and get your ticket and then come and learn more about optimizing your site so that we can take the traffic that's currently on your site and convert more of those visitors into buyers so that you get more money, more return on investment. And those improvements that you make on your site today will give you long-term re- returns, long-term improvements, and ultimately just give you more sales and more profit from your business, which is what we're here to achieve. So if that sounds good to you, click the link above right now and I'll see you guys inside that webinar next week. See you then.